Hello Vikings and uh, welcome back to something a bit alternative mostly just due to the fact that I am bloody lazy today uh, I have been keeping track on the forums uh, both with um, suggestions uh, and in particular the suggestions passed to the developers for quite some time at this point uh, and uh, really just because I'm too bloody fucking lazy to actually edit gameplay video today, I figured I would do a video going over all the stuff that has been uh, passed for... Uh, <laughs> passed to the developers for August. Starting out with the aviation, we got the JU-88P3. Um basically a cast ju88 with a pair of twin 37 millimeter bk 37s um basically the same 37 as we already have uh <laughs> on some of the other aircraft and even some tanks i believe it should uh have quite the punch and would be quite fun. Next up is the TU-16, a uh, big-ass nuclear-capable jet bomber. Um, would be pretty cool to see. Uh, probably be somewhere between the... Um, I can't even remember what they're called. Would probably be in the bomber line. We got the Mitsubishi XF-2A, which is uh, really just the Japanese F-16. I mean, there's some differences, but yeah. <laughs> we got a Chinese Mirage, the uh, Mirage 2005EI. Then we have the AMX MMX 595, a little Italian plane, um, basically upgraded G91. We have the VG39, a uh, neat little prop plane for France, I would believe. Yeah. And then we have the CF-100, big ass fat uh, interceptor for Canada of all things. Um, should be pretty nippy, uh, does come with some interesting weaponry. And just nice to see more Canadian stuff added to the game. Next up for the ground vehicles, we got the M6 Linebacker, which is literally just a Bradley. Um, but instead of the tow, it has a uh, quad stinger launcher. Um, so a, a bit of an AA capable IFV. We got the Warrior slash the CSP. Um, well, the Warrior 2, I should say. <laughs> An upgrade program of the Warrior. Um, basically, they wanted a better gun. So, uh, 40 mil instead of 30 mil. We have the Type 81, which is... Another AA for Japan, which would be very nice. We got the Type 62G, uh, upgraded version of um, the Type 62 we already got. This one has a 105mm gun. Uh, don't really know what else is upgraded, but you know, just more light tanks, yes please. We have an Italian Katusha, uh, literally just a Katusha launcher, um, mounted on a British truck. And 
Now we have some much needed AA support for brands. Uh, something that would actually fill the gap between the uh, AMX 13 and the AMX 30 AAs uh, would be quite nice to see. Not only the AA variant, even just the uh, these other chassis, this other vehicles, the chassis from. We have an STRV 102, which is in essence just a Mac 10. Um, it, it's really not. <laughs> it's basically the Mac 3, but equipped with a L7 105 instead of the uh, 20 pounder 81. And the laser ring trained. I can't forget about that. We have the Lahat, which is just the uh, cannon fired guided missiles um, out of the um, Merkavas. And then we have the Leopard 2A4 Aspis, which is a Greek modification in the 2A4, uh, basically plastering it in uh, ERA and composites. For the naval forces, it's a quick little three um, suggestions past. First off, the USS Timmerman, a uh, experimental propulsion system destroyer. Uh, believe based off yeah the gearing class um would basically just be the same as the gearing but faster because of uh, new engines we have the takao class uh another heavy cruiser class for japan not as uh as heavily armored as the current top cruisers but still with quite the punch and firepower and the French Algerie, which is a fairly standard uh, heavy cruiser design for the time. The helicopters, all we got is another Japanese weep turbo, uh, which you can see right here. Um, also, I suppose it's not really weep when it's... And another fucking anime chopper. There we go. Um, can't really be bothered to go into details with that because, you know, choppers. More weep shit. The floof decal. A reward for intercepting nuclear bombers, which would be kind of nice. Um, currently, there is no reward for that, other than, you know, getting to actually keep on fighting and maybe try and win. We got additional colorblind support. Not really sure what that's all about, and for most people that's entirely pointless. And then we have kinetic damage on bombs, which would be nice because all the fucking AP bombs would finally fucking work. Currently an AP bomb is really just the worst bomb because they don't really do the penetration before they explode, they just explode. And that is it for this month. Um, I hope you enjoyed this quick little walkthrough. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, especially share so we can get to a point where I can get my own decal.
and uh, hopefully I will see you in the next one.